During the adjustment period in our relationship, it was very difficult for me. I didn't want to communicate. <laughs> I mean, I value communication, so mm -hmm. I like to know what do you feel, why you feel that, and then we can kind of talk things through. I'm like proud of why that was a very disgusting attitude. I think that um, because my wife wasn't in a serious relationship before, she kind of assumed that like when we argued about things, that things were kind of falling apart, you know, and like mm. kind of imploding. Because there wasn't clear communication, we just, it was so hard to work things through. So after months and months of um, talking and voicing out what's on my mind and he also keeps like telling me communication is the key so i think a year year or so right we finally got over it and i learned a lot from him and um he never gave up on me <laughs> and i'm thankful he had so much patience and um yeah although i was a bit of um yeah, I was a bit of a headache. It did get hard because mm -hmm. like sometimes we would talk things through and I would think, okay, we have arrived at a conclusion and then she just wouldn't <laughs> do what we agreed to do again and then we have to go through that again and it became difficult. Mm. Uh, it was really hard for me because I wanted the relationship to work smoothly. I don't like arguing, especially in a relationship. For me, that was really hard, you know, going back to the same thing, even though we spoke about something and we reached a conclusion, she would still go back there and do the same thing again. And that would be very frustrating for me. But mm. after a while, she started um, internalizing those things and actually applying them because what I kept saying was, if you don't do it, nothing's going to change. Right? If you don't stick to what we spoke about, Things are going to be the same. They're not going to get better, you know, unless you actually apply what you speak about. Mm -hmm. And the conclusions that you reach need to be something that you genuinely apply to your life and you genuinely want for each other. And mm -hmm. the only way that that can happen is if both of you actually are on the same page. Because in a relationship, you guys are a team. Mm -hmm. um, there's nobody else that's gonna fix it for you. It's either you do your best and your partner does your, her best or his best. And if one of you don't, you're never gonna get there. Mm -hmm. So that for me, I thought was something I really wanted to impart mm -hmm. to my wife and, and to show her that we are a team, we are united, we should be united. And the only way that we can reach that is if we speak and are honest about where we are coming from what bothers us, what we need, what our weaknesses are, what our strengths are, mm. and then grow from that. Saying you're going to do something and doing it are two different things. Right? You know, you, you have this cliche saying actions speak louder than words, and they do. You know, to, to really know what somebody thinks about you, what they really believe, it's showing their actions, not their words. I'm glad that is always there to like remind me and i'm not perfect guys and we are not perfect very perfect but you, you have a perfect head <laughs> that's perfect and um by the grace of god we got through it and until now we still we are still trying to do to be the best that we can ever since ever since we both um you know, both of us decided to, to fully invest ourselves in the relationship and there, there comes a point where you just realize and understand that if you don't do this, nobody else will and it, you need to be united, the two of you need to be in this together and that there isn't the option of walking away mm. because as long as that is an option, you're never going to be committed to something 100% mm. and that I think is the most important thing. Like knowing that your your spouse or your partner, they're gonna be with you till the end, till you die. They're not gonna leave you no matter what happens, no matter what comes your way. You're just one, you're united. 
that kind of knowledge and safety is what allows you to to weather storms that might break others i think i, I could better you know over time. by so much like if we argue about something it's 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 a slight disagreement usually it's or like, like maybe we like i mean it's not even an argument it's like when are you gonna eat <laughs> yeah when am i gonna eat you know it's, that's it's our like that. argument <laughs> like <gasps> yeah. Oh, yeah and i think that should be the goal of of everybody like all couples should strive not to argue you have these silly sayings that um when you argue it means that you love somebody you know it's, mm -hmm. it's not true you love somebody if you can minimize the amount that you argue about things. You need to realize that you're not perfect, you know, I'm not perfect, my wife's not perfect, but you strive towards it. You, you have to keep striving towards perfection, even if it's only a little bit, even if you can just do a little bit every day. If you can just move one step closer to that, you've, you've gotten a little bit closer to, to heaven, you've gotten a little bit closer to a marriage that is happier. You're gonna increase the chances of you being happy every single day. Now, every time I have something that I I don't really, you know, like or something in my mind, I always tell him directly. So when I I don't like this, I don't like that, I don't like what you're doing, I don't like what we are doing. So we talk about it um, right away to resolve to take the stress away in our um, heart and our mind and of course with the guidance of um, God yeah that is that is one thing that that is um, helping us through everything don't you think yeah of course I mean for me before getting into the relationship it was a question of um, determining what love really is and I think that um, if you can live up to the definition that's put forward in the Bible then it's very difficult to go wrong. You know, if you if you compare the love that you have toward your um, girlfriend, boyfriend, spouse, you know, it's it's something that really, really helps a lot. You know, being patient, kind, not envying, keeps no record of wrongs. And I mean, that's hard as well. Like sometimes, you know, you do things, and it's not good to bring those things up. You know, mm. leave the past in the past. Mm. Make the present into the future that you want it to be and it's difficult because it, it's so easy to want to keep score in the heat of the moment you know to, to have that leverage in your argument and say oh yeah but you did this and you did that mm -hmm. you know and it's just not productive you know because then all you do is remind your spouse or your partner of how they failed mm -hmm. and you don't want to be that you want to be their strength you want to be the person that lifts them up so forget about it you know yeah if they made mistakes Forget them. As long as they don't do it again, as long as they're actively working never to do that and never to hurt you and always to, to progress, that's where you need to be. Thanks so much for watching everyone. We hope that you guys enjoyed the content and we hope that you guys uh, were able to learn something and that your relationships um, flourish, that they, that they do uh, so well. We, we want the best for you, we want the best for everyone out there and please keep us in your thoughts um, as well. Like we say, we're not perfect even so we hope, that <laughs> <laughs> we hope that things keep going well as well and that we keep taking our own advice and we keep doing the right thing. Thank you guys and we will see you again next time. Bye! Bye.